What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope that you're having an amazing week. Let's jump in and practice our Bible verse for this week. Are you guys ready? Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Guys, that is the most amazing news ever. On and on um in our big house this week, Soapy gave me a present. How many of you guys love presents? I know I do. So Soapy gave me a present and it had the verse in it. And the reason that she gave me a box with a present is because, guys, God gave us the greatest gift ever, the greatest gift ever, when he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. That is the greatest gift we could ever have. And so today, I want you guys to grab your Bibles and we are gonna be in Psalm 103. Guys, the writer of this Psalm did the most amazing job telling God how thankful he was for being forgiven for God's amazing grace and love for all of us. So I want you to start in verse one and we're gonna kind of jump around just a little bit. But verse one says, praise the Lord, all my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Guys, God is holy. He deserves all of our praise, all of our honor. It says, praise the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins. Guys, tell God right now, thank you, God, for forgiving me. Thank you for taking my sin away. And then it says, and he heals all our diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Guys, God doesn't just leave us to, forgiven. He makes us better. He fills us with love and compassion. He satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. You guys are already young, but you, every single day when you are walking with God, you're renewed. It says the Lord, Lord works for the righteous and justice for all who are oppressed. If you go down to verse eight, it says the Lord is compassionate and gracious. He's slow to anger and abounding in love. Guys, how many of your parents ever get, get upset with you when you constantly do wrong things? All of us make mistakes and we all do things, all right? God, right here, it says he is compassionate and gracious. He's slow to anger and abounding in love. He's patient with us. He is patient with us. It says uh, in verse 10, he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. And then if you go down, it says um, in verse 12, as far as the east from the west, so far he removed our transgressions from us. God loves us and he forgives us. We learned yesterday that we are all going to sin. We all sin. We learn every single person on this earth has sin, but God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven. Let's thank him for that right now. Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for loving us and for forgiving us. And God, today we pray that you would help us to choose your way, not our way. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow for another way that we can live in God's love, grace, and forgiveness. See you then.